A consultant is a professional who provides professional or expert advice in a particular area such as security, management, accountancy, law, human resources, marketing, finance, engineering, science or any of many other specialized fields. A consultant is usually an expert or a professional in a specific field and has a wide knowledge of the subject matter. The role of consultant outside the medical sphere can fall under one of two general categories, internal consultant a euro someone who operates within an organization but is available to be consulted on areas of specialism by other departments or individuals. Or, external consultant a euro someone who is employed externally whose expertise is provided on a temporary basis, usually for a fee. As such this type of consultant generally engages with multiple and changing clients. The overall impact of a consultant is that clients have access to deeper levels of expertise than would be feasible for them to retain in-house, and may purchase only as much service from the outside consultant as desired. Ways of work The range of areas of expertise covered by the term consultant is extremely wide. One of the more general attributions is as a management consultant but this is not an exclusive term. Consulting and the means by which the consultant is engaged vary according to industry and local practice. However the principal difference between a consultant and a temp is generally one of direction. A consultant is engaged to fulfill a brief in terms of helping to find solutions to specific issues but the ways in which that is to be done generally falls to the consultant to decide, within constraints such as budget and resources agreed with the client. There is however a hybrid form where a consultant may be hired as an interim manager or executive, bringing a combination of specialist expertise to bear on a role that is temporarily vacant. Some consultants are employed indirectly by the client via a consultancy staffing company, a company that provides consultants on an agency basis. This form of working is particularly common in the ICT sector. Such consultants are often called contractors since they are usually providing technical services that could be performed in-house were it not easier for the employer to operate a flexible system of only hiring such technologists at times of peak workload rather than permanently. Common types, in the business, and as of recently the private sphere, the most commonly found consultants are, engineering consultants provide engineering related services such as design, supervision, execution, repair, operation, maintenance, technology, creation of drawings and specifications, and make recommendations to public, companies, firms and industries. Strategy consultants working on the development of and improvements to organizational strategy alongside senior management in many industries. Human resources consultants who provide expertise around employment practice and people management. Internet consultants who are specialists in business use of the Internet and keep themselves up to date with new and changed capabilities offered by the web. Ideally Internet consultants also have practical experience and expertise in management skills such as strategic planning, change, projects, processes, training, team working and customer satisfaction. Process consultants who are specialists in the design or improvement of operational processes and can be specific to the industry or sector. Public relations consultants dealing specifically with public relations matters external to the client organization and often engaged on a semi-permanent basis by larger organizations to provide input and guidance. Performance consultants who focus on the execution of an initiative or overall performance of their client. Immigration consultant who helps through legal procedure of immigration from one country to other country. Information technology consultants in many disciplines such as computer hardware, software engineering, or networks. Marketing consultants who are generally called upon to advise around areas of product development and related marketing matters. Interim managers as mentioned above may be independent consultants who act as interim executives with decision-making power under corporate policies or statutes. They may sit on specially constituted boards or committees. A more comprehensive list of types is shown below. Place of work, though most of the back office research and analysis occurs at the consultant's offices, consultants typically work at the site of the client for at least some of the time. The governing factor tends to be the amount of interaction required with other employees of the client. 
qualifications, consultant Peter Block defines a consultant as someone who has influence over an individual, group, or organization, but who has no direct authority to implement changes. He contrasts this with a surrogate manager who is a person who acts on behalf of, or in place of, a manager. The key difference is that a consultant never makes decisions for the individual or group, whereas a surrogate manager does make decisions. Accredited associates are bound by a code of ethics that requires the consultant to only provide a euro OE practical advice that works a euro a euro by a euro OE analyzing as a generalist and solving as a specialist a euro a euro using the skills and experience of a subcontracted fellow associate, thus at all times providing the client with the best available advice and support. There is no single qualification to be a consultant other than those laid down in relation to medical and engineering personnel who have attained this level degree in it. Internationally the accreditation of management consultants is overseen by higher education training and accreditation organizations. The International Council of Management Consulting Institutes was founded in 1987 and has around 50 member institutes covering the globe. The award of certified management consultant status is its internationally recognized accreditation that is not specific to the technical content of the consultant's practice. For instance this could be held equally by a human resources expert or a chemical engineer operating as management consultants in their field s, of expertise. There are about 10,000 CMCs worldwide. Chartered Institute of Management Consultants is a not-for-profit professional body chartered federally under letters patent granted by the Government of Canada. CIMC is also chartered under the laws of the State of Delaware, USA. CIMC is also registered with the National Certification Commission, USA. The CIMC Award Chartered Management Consultant CHMC designation as a global management credential. International Federation of Consulting Engineers is a federation whose members are national associations of consulting engineers. See also References